As the youngest child of 10, I felt like an only child. My mom was a big influence in our culture. My dad tried to make me do everything right. I couldn't wait for my older brothers to come home from the service. They were my heroes. At first it was a happy arrival, but then it turned into a war zone. The fighting woke me up and I'd sit in my bed to block it out. Often, they took me to the bar and I stayed waiting in the car for them, watching them beat up other guys. I remember my brother saying, come here boy, let me show you how to fight. I did not drink when my mother was alive because I didn't want to disappoint her. When I was 16, my mother died. It gave me a Valium because I was so shocked and heartbroken. The little pill made me feel better. I smoked marijuana to soothe my pain, then later started drinking. When I was out partying and cheating on my wife, I thought I was king. I was 18 when my first beautiful girl was born. That night, I was celebrating, got drunk, and almost crashed my brother's car. My handsome son was born 13 months later. I had a beautiful family. I tried to sober up several times for them, but couldn't. I spent time in jail for fighting and hurting others. In 1990, my beautiful Indian baby girl was born. She was two when her mother left me. We divorced. I continued the pattern with women and tried to sober up in AA many times, but had trouble with the higher power thing. I was invited to a ceremony and while singing, I remember dad told me I was supposed to sing and dance for the people. The drum, the singers, the women singing, and the people in the community are my higher power. This was my spiritual awakening and Anishinaabek Gemarzi is what I was supposed to do. Many spiritual gifts have come my way since I became sober. My three children and the six grandchildren are the greatest gifts the Creator has blessed me with. I remember being in Lodge the day before Father's Day. I could see in the Lodge as if it were daylight. I felt the woman's spirit very strong all around me. Why? The next day, my baby girl and her boyfriend came by. She gave me a Father's Day card and wrote congrats on being a grandpa. I looked at her and in that moment it hit me. I said, I know, it's a girl. She came to me in the lodge last night. I have been sober now for 12 years and this is the most beautiful time of my life. The relationships I have with my family is beyond belief. My siblings are all sober now. They are all my heroes. Today, I am dancing and singing for the people. They are my higher power.